Tonight today, you're still in the wet season. That doesn't mean we won't see some of that dusty air coming through. But Saharan dust is set to move on at least uh, through Friday and Saturday as a tropical wave nears the island chain. The tropical waves are usually, what, six out of ten of them, can become uh, tropical storms or hurricanes. But there are no tropical storms or hurricanes set to come through over the next uh, few days. Conditions are pretty tranquil right now. So as you get these tropical waves that are coming through, it will increase the moisture levels and the instability as well. And also, we could be seeing the ITC being drawn up north of the Windward Islands. So most of that activity you can notice here along the satellite picture, all of that activity is set to come through Trinidad and Tobago as we go through late on Friday going into Saturday. So once the tropical wave makes its way past, then ITCZ will likely come through. So we'll likely see a lot of other moisture beginning to build across Trinidad and Tobago from Friday and then more so for a Saturday and definitely for a Trinidad, especially towards the South Land. So, for Tobago, then look for cloudiness to build after midnight, carrying on into your morning, a scattering of showers coming through Castara into Palatuvier, down along the Windward Road as well. And there's a possibility that in some of those showers, it could turn quite breezy as well. For Trinidad, look for damp spots to come through eastern areas of Trinidad first, and then eventually getting into the western areas as you go overnight in, into the early part of a Friday morning. So a lot of the cloudiness building over the northern range has a possibility of turning heavy as you go through the afternoon, and there's a slight chance of a thunder shower as well. And if you do get that thunder shower, just remember that the winds ahead of that thunder shower could turn quite gusty. Towards the southern areas, all of the clouds will begin to build through Guaguari and Maruga as that moisture begins to push northwards. Also, like you see, the possibility of a thunder shower erupting around the uh, cloud and maybe down towards Maruga. Temperature-wise, uh, tonight, a uh, mild night, 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 25 in Tobago. But as you can see here, no high for 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and 31 in Tobago. So the humidity will be around. It will obviously feel quite steamy and sticky at times, and that feeling will continue through Saturday. All the moisture will continue to bring some showers for Tobago, possibility of uh, some thundery ones as well, especially for Trinidad. And then on the Sunday, it's quite a change. The Saharan dust comes through, and on Monday, more prolonged rainfall is expected for both islands. Now, uh, for those heading offshore, you will continue to see those uh, winds uh, from the east, but it will shift slightly to the east-southeast as you go through late on Friday, going into Saturday, as that tropical wave passes, and a moderate chop of 2 meters for the most part, and the east northeast of swells of 8 seconds. Now, the rest of the Caribbean, especially the eastern areas, you'll notice also a bit of that moisture beginning to build. So if you are south of Barbados, you'll notice all of that dampness for St. Vincent coming down towards a grenade, a scattering of shells there, and also some thicker rain expected for Guyana. But towards the north, it's drier, it's fair conditions expected, and also some fair weather for the Great Rantalis. You won't get away from those uh, passing showers, but overall you won't be seeing those uh, heavy bursts across uh, Haiti or the Dominican Republic over the next day or so. But for us, we will see a lot of that ITCZ moisture pushing through, so as long as spells of showers and the possibility of thunder rumbling as well. So that's the weather, and that's from me.